Hello, nature enthusiasts. Look what I found. These are some mushrooms called armillaria. The common name is honey mushrooms, and armillaria is the genus. For a long time, people thought that armillaria mella was the species that we would be looking at here, but actually genetic and morphological and molecular research has shown that there are about 10 species that used to be called, grouped under the name Armillaria, Mella, but that are actually non-reproductive individual species. So this is now more called, more accurately called the Armillaria Mella group or complex. Um, so Armillaria, uh, like I said, called the honey mushrooms because of the beautiful honey color that their caps get. And they're pretty spectacular. They're pretty cool fungi. They include some of the largest and some of the oldest lived organisms on the planet. I know. Now I know you're thinking, Aaron, that's not possible. I've seen mushrooms grow. They last for a very short period of time and they disappear. How could they possibly be the longest lived organisms in the world and the largest, larger than a blue whale, larger than a giant sequoia, a redwood tree? Yes, because what you're seeing here is just the tip of the iceberg to steal a metaphor. Mushrooms, the fruiting bodies that you see here, these are just the reproductive sections of a fungus. It's like the equivalent of the apple where the rest of the tree is underground. It's made of this very fine network of thread-like structures called mycelium. And that is the body of the fungus that lasts and lasts and grows and grows. Some of the largest armillarias, some of these largest organisms in the world, can stretch up to cover up to 3.4 miles square miles, 3.4 square miles. That's huge. The biggest one, the one, the, the record holder that has been discovered is up in Oregon. And that individual, that 3.4 square mile individual is estimated to be about 2,400 years old. So these things are amazing. It's entirely possible that as I go wandering through this area and find more clusters of the fruiting bodies, the mushrooms like this, that they all belong to the same individual. I'm not gonna go that far. It's easily within uh, three square miles. And so it could all be the same individual body, like the apple tree, with apples like this showing up from place to place throughout the area, uh, wherever conditions are right for them to actually grow and fruit. You can see the white dusting on this. This is actually, these are spores. Armillaria are, one of the ways of really knowing that armillaria is an armillaria is by its white spores. Now, because I'm sure a bunch of people will be curious, when it comes to eating mushrooms, armillaria are edible, but, and I cannot stress this enough, never ever ever pick and eat a mushroom unless you're 100% certain of what it is. Go with an expert, go with somebody who knows what they're talking about. Uh, learn from books, learn from YouTube channels. Really, really, really know your fungi before you ever put something in your mouth. Um, but armillaria is maybe a, a good one to, to, to learn about because like I said it is edible and many people think it's delicious, uh, myself included. Um, so yeah, pretty spectacular mushrooms. And one of the one of the amazing things about them is that they grow in these amazing clusters. Look at how beautiful this is. Just spectacular, spectacular, and impressive growth of fungus. If you like this video, share it. Please give it a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing lots more of these and hoping to share the natural world around me as I encounter it. And I encourage you to go out and explore the natural world as well.